Welcome into Drew's Daily Diamond for Wednesday, September 11th, 2024, 23 years after 9 11. I still remember where I was when that happened. And uh, hey, unfortunate, but may God bless America. We got six games on the slate in remembrance three day games, three night games, guys. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome. It helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. As we got first game up, 2.10 Eastern start time. Heading to the south side. It's been too long since we've talked about the Chicago White Sox. They are hosting the Cleveland Guardians. It's number one versus number five in the division. Last place team here. Davis Martin going for the White Sox. Matt Boyd for the Guardians. Minus 2.10. That's Cleveland as the road favorite. Total of eight. Said it's been too long since we've talked talked the White Sox here. 33 and 113. That's their win-loss record. 226 winning percentage. 50 and a half games back of the division leader, Cleveland Guardians. They're minus 60 units on the season, the White Sox are, and they're just 18 and 56 when playing at home. Man, if you've been betting the White Sox, you're already out of money, but uh I can't get on them here. I know they're getting a big plus price and Davis Martin, their starter. He hasn't been bad, actually. I mean, the 27 year old out of Texas Tech. Yeah, he's 0-3, but his numbers aren't terrible. I mean, he's a guy that goes, you know, 80, 90 pitches, but that's part of the problem. It kind of leads into the White Sox bullpen that has been absolutely horrendous. You parlay that with they're up against the lefty here. Matt Boyd is a lefty and they have a team OPS. That's 593, sub 600. The only team in MLB with a sub 600 team OPS against lefties. And it's 40 points lower than the next worst lineup against Southpaws. So uh, they're having a tough time scoring against anybody, but particularly against lefties. And Matt Boyd, you know, he got a late start to the season, the 33 year old out of Oregon State. He's only got five starts but he's got a 26 to five strikeout to walk ratio and a 2.20 ERA. Hey, this Cleveland lineup has been hot as well. Huge bullpen edge. We kind of already went over that. They're up 12 units on the season. So up double digit units here. We're going to jump on Cleveland. Don't like laying uh, the minus 200. So we're going to lay the run line here with the road team. Get that number down. It's Cleveland over the White Sox to start us off. 340 Eastern, heading to the desert. Up next, Texas Rangers, Arizona Diamondbacks. Merrill Kelly going for the D-backs. Cody Bradford, the lefty for the Rangers. Eight and a hook being the total. Minus 140, that's Arizona, as the home favorite. They're 81 and 64 on the season, that being the Diamondbacks. And they got Kelly on the hill, the 35-year-old out of Arizona State. His overall year-to-date number is pretty good, four-flat ERA. But what have you done for me recently? Since mid-August, he's got over a 6 ERA, a 6 FIP. He's given up 31 hits his last 21 innings, 18 runs his last 23 innings. So he has not been, you know, the same pitcher, at least of late. Thinking that continues here. And he's up against Cody Bradford, the lefty for the Rangers. He's been the exact opposite. He's been a lot better of late. The 26-year-old out of Baylor, three-flat ERA, 56 to 10 strikeout to walk ratio, which is good for the full sleep for the full season. But even more so, his last 37 innings, just 25 hits, 32 to 6 strikeout to walk ratio. The Rangers have won the last two times Bradford's taken the hill. The D-backs have lost the last two times Kelly's taken the hill. Overall, guys, the Texas uh, lineup, actually both lineups have been good over the last two weeks. I just think plus 130 here, defending World Series champions. Granted, they're likely going to miss the playoffs. Hey, I think the dog's barking here. We get the 30 cents. We're on the Rangers, plus 130. Next one up, 645 Eastern start time. Atlanta Braves, Washington Nationals. Max Freed, the lefty on the hill for the Bravos. Jake Irvin going for the Nationals. Seven and a hook being the total. We're seeing Atlanta minus 170 road favorites. They're 13 games over 500. Uh, they just won yesterday 12 to nothing. And they got freed on the on the hill. It's not the freed that we've known the last couple seasons. I mean, his record's just nine and eight. But his last time versus the Nationals, eight innings blanking this lineup. 
only given up seven hits. Like Max Freed, past performance here. And Jake Irvin, the starter for the Nationals, 15 hits, 13 earned runs in his last two starts with a velocity drop. I'm looking to fade Irvin, guys. That's why we're talking about this one. Now, the 70 cents on the Braves is a little bit rich for uh, for our price tag. But, hey, as the road team, run line, we get them plus 100, minus one and a half here. So uh, risk 100 to win, to win 100. That's on the Braves run line over the Nationals in our nation's capital. Next one up. Back to the day slate here. I'm guessing this was a time change because it's still down on the rotation numbers, but it is a day start. 3.07 Eastern start time. Heading north of the border. It's the Toronto Blue Jays hosting the New York Mets. Sean Manaya, the lefty on the hill for the Metropolitans. Bowden Francis going for the Jays. Total of eight, minus a dollar and a quarter. That's the Mets as the road favorite. 13 games over 500 for the Mets. They're 10 and 2, their last 12. I'm not looking to go against the Mets here. Um, well, Sean Manaya first up, guys. He's 11 and five on the season, 163 strikeouts, only five hits. His last two games combined, he's three and zero. Oh, his last three decisions, but he's up against Bowden Francis. This guy's been absolutely money. If you've been watching the show, we've been betting on him a bunch since August 5th. That's six starts. He's four and one, 1.58 ERA. His last 40 innings. He's only given up 15 hits. Some pitchers out there give up more, more hits than innings completed. He's only given up 15 hits his last 40. 45 to 4 strikeout to walk ratio. So he's a one-way bet for us, and that's bet on. The thing is, Sean Manaya has been, been very good as well. And the Mets, you know, 10 and 2 their last 12. So sidewise, I think this one is tough, guys. You can see it in the price tag. Like, why, why are the Mets not, not more of a favorite? Well, we just talked about Bowden Francis's numbers. So I'd go after the total, guys. We get a total of eight here. The Blue Jays, three straight unders, five of six to the under, 10 of 13 to the under, and the Mets, four straight unders, nine of their last 12 to the under. Hey, let's go Mets and Blue Jays to the under here, plus the fact the Jays have really struggled against lefties and Manaya coming from the left side. That could help our cause as well. So we got a total of eight Mets and Blue Jays. We're going towards the under. Eight o'clock hour up next. It's the Houston Astros in the Oakland A's. Joey Estes likely the starter here for the A's. I'm still seeing undecided, but uh, that's how I'm handicapping it. Hunter Brown on the bump for the Astros. Astros minus 200 home favorites. Total of eight. Now, the A's just won. I'm, I'm doing this show uh, Tuesday night, about midnight on the West Coast. But, uh, yeah, we were on the A's yesterday. I don't think we're – well, we're not going to get there um, on Wednesday. Joey Estes going for the A's, the 22-year-old, 4-5 ERA, 4-5 whip. His last time versus the Astros, he didn't make it out of uh, the fourth inning, giving up eight earned runs, four walks as well. So that's terrible pass performance against this Stroh's lineup in division so they have faced each other hunter brown the starter for the astros since august 1st six starts 1.20 era in his last 37 innings just five earned runs 21 hits 35 to 11 strikeout to walk ratio in his last time against the athletics six innings one earned eight to one strikeout to walk hey i think houston's the side here guys Lineup's been hot. They've been good against righties. They got the big bullpen edge as well. Now, minus 200 home favorite. Don't love that. So not going to lay the run line either, the minus one and a half. But we will lay the minus one run line to get that number down from minus 200. It's the Astros minus one over the Oakland Athletics. Guys, uh, reminder, if you could comment below, it, it helps out the algorithm. Anything is welcome down there. Your MLB picks, where you agree, where you disagree. If you want to troll, hey, have at it um, and smash that like button if you're liking the content. Premium picks available, wagertalk.com, Drew Martin, 4% play up and available for the Wednesday night slate. College football, NFL, getting going for this weekend as well. Last game up, West Coast, last game on the card here, 9.40 Eastern start time. 
heading to the Pacific Northwest. It's the San Diego Padres and the Seattle Mariners. Brandon Wu on the hill for the M's. Mike King going for the Padres. Total of seven, seven flat, low total here, minus 110. Yeah, that is the M's as the home favorite. All right, Padres, 18 games over 500. Seattle now just one game over 500. They're minus 10 units on the season as well. They they jumped out to that lead in the AL West. They've given it up to the Astros, and now they're flirting with 500. So they haven't been playing good baseball in the second half of the season. Now, Brandon Wu on the hill, good numbers overall, but eight hits his last time out. That was against the Oakland A's. He's given up four home runs his last two starts against the Angels and the Athletics. Now he's going up against the Padres, the number two lineup in baseball against righties. I think the Padres can actually have some success here against Wu, who has been a good pitcher. And the Padres uh, starter, King, 29-year-old out of Boston College, actually since mid-August, he's been great. Sub-2 ERA and his last time against the M's, six innings, just one earned with a 9-to-1 strikeout-to-walk ratio, getting nine Ks in six innings. That's an impressive start. Uh, Already went over the the fact that the Padres uh, smash righties. And this Mariners lineup, yeah, they've been better of late, but still overall, I think they struggle against better pick pitchers. And I would put King in that category. So the Padres minus 102, the slight dog. Hey, I think the dog's barking here. We're jumping on the Padres again after yesterday's winner. So it's the Padres over the Mariners to end the Wednesday slate. In recap, we got the Astros minus one. Over the Athletics, we got the Mets and the Blue Jays under eight. We got the Braves with Max Fried on the hill, minus the run line, plus 100. We get the Rangers as the Barking Dog, plus 130 over the Diamondbacks. And the Cleveland Guardians to start us off here, Fade City on the Chicago White Sox. We're on the Guardians, minus the run line. Guys, that's going to do it for the Wednesday show. Come back. On Thursday, smash that like button, comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets.